mechanical controller, please remain the seat for presentation. Ladies and gentlemen, Assalamualaikum and a very good afternoon. Welcome back to the hall and this afternoon we are going to witness the competition for women, 41 kilos. Ladies and gentlemen, we present to you the athletes that will be competing. The first lifter, Yulia Voronsova from Russia. Eberichu Putesi from Nigeria. Sakina Khatun from India. Nora Badur from Syria. Marina Kopika from Ukraine. Nawal Ramadan from Egypt. Ninengah Widyasi from Indonesia. Chui Tse from China. And Nazmi Muslu from Turkey. Attention to all coaches, attention to all coaches, you have five minutes to make any changes for the first attempt. Next is the presentation of technical officials on duty. Maria Milia from Romania. Side referee one, Norcia Mohammed from Malaysia. Side referee two, Julie Russell from Australia. And the technical controller, Khadija Asim from Morocco. President of jury, Hisako Yoshida from Japan. Jury 1, Nadir Saleh from Bahrain. Jury 2, Fatih Ali from Libya. Jury 3, Mezher Salim from Iraq. And Jury 4, Glyn Hibbert from Great Britain. And the technical delegate, Mr. John Amos from Great Britain.
Attention to all coaches, you have one minute to make any changes for the first attempt. Attention to all coaches, you have one minute to make any changes for the first attempt. Attention to all coaches, no more change of first attempt is allowed. Attention to all coaches, no more change of first attempt is allowed. Competition will start in five minutes' time. Thank you.
have one minute on the clock. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the competition will start now. First lifter, Yulia Vorotsova from Russia. Please be ready. Welcome back to Dubai for Loaders, the first of the women's the competitions at this 2014 kilos, IPC Powerlifting Euro. World Championships. This is up to 41 kg. It is the lowest weight category for the women, and we're about to get underway. Very good afternoon from Dubai, from Will Downing. 13.45, 1.45 p.m. local time here, 9.45 GMT. We've already had one event today. If you're just joining us, it was in the men's 49 kg, the lightest of the men's weight categories, and that went to Nigeria. Yakubu Adesokan won a new world record, 181 kg ahead of Lee Van Kong of Vietnam, and second who broke the world record twice himself this morning before being beaten with the final lift. Russia's Vladimir Balinets was in third, and we're starting off with Russia and Yulia Voronsova, who will be the first woman to lift this week. Qualified with a lift of 68 kg in Alexin, but a lot more will be needed in order to take the honors here. So, our first attempt is at 65 kg. Up it goes. Three judges all give it a white light. So, Vorontsova takes the lead. There are uh, ten competing in this. Two juniors, one of which we've seen, Vorontsova. So there will be a gold and silver medal decided in this. The other junior is Marie Abazua. Who will not be starting, which means we've just the one junior here, Yulia Voronsova. Means uh, Abazua of Cameroon doesn't start. So we're now moving to Sakina Katun of India. Her first attempt will be 74 kilograms. Cleared 67 in qualifying in Eger in January. average in this competition they'll be lifting twice their body weight and for the potential medalists we're looking at at two and a half times that so this for the lead for Katun this is always generally the run in the first round we start off with those who are looking to lift the lightest and then we finish off each round with those looking to lift the heaviest Judges say no. Two red lights. So 
She'll have to come back a second time. satisfied the other two warrants so Sakina Katun of India misses out for now that was her first attempt at 74 didn't happen as quickly as that though coming up next for Syria Nora Bador who finished eighth at London 2012 now she lifted 85 kg in qualifying in Kuala Lumpur in the Asian Championships, the Asian Open, back in November. And she's looking to lift 80 here to give herself a solid base. register a mark in London three attempts at 88 kg so presumably a reason why she's starting here at 80 just to get herself in the board and that was in the old weight category of 40 kg this is now the mark going up to 41 kg this weight category so the first attempt at 80 kilograms in this Two judges like it. So she's into the lead. Nora Bador. Successful lift of 80 kilograms. The other judge giving it a red mark. But she is on the board. And I think that was very important to her. She didn't get to start. Despite being listed for the last World Championship final in Kuala Lumpur four years ago. And actually started very ambitiously with that mark of... Um, 88 kg in London, that eventually is what earned Zoe Newsom of Britain the bronze medal. But only in the final round. So right from the start, of, would have put Bador into a, a solid position, a chance of a medal, but she didn't get it. She had three attempts at that mark and missed them all, so at least she's off the mark here. Marina Kubica of... Ukraine is next. She's going for 82 kg with her first lift. Finished seventh in London. for a high finish here. She's the fourth to lift, so out of the nine starters, because we've uh, DNS against the uh, Cameroon lifter, Maria Avasua, that would at the moment put Kavika ranked, ranked fifth going into it.
Tasse of Nigeria. I lifted 85 in qualifying in Dubai over a year ago. Tasse Evra Chukwu. It's going for 85 here as well. Out of three, give it a red. So, a judge gave it her stamp of approval, not straight enough for them. So, better luck next time. Egypt is due next. Start strongly here. It's a very high mark. Four. I think she's satisfied with it. But two reds have come up against it. No mark registered against her there, not deemed to have been straight enough then. Coach was happy, but two of the judges were not. Two out of three were red. Next up for Indonesia, Ninenga Wiriashi. They're currently second in the rankings for 2014. She finished fifth at London 2012. Qualified last year, last November in Kuala Lumpur. She lifted 95. This is an attempt at 90. Yeah. 
done and things are going her way at the moment it means that she at worst could only be third at the end of this opening round <laughs> Kije of China has won the silver medal at the last two Paralympic Games in London and in Beijing before that in terms of what they're aiming for in this opening round she's going for the Second heaviest weight. China with the second biggest team here of 18. Russia with the largest, 26. In the end, beaten by. 9 kg by the next lifter we'll see in London. Finished second behind Lydia Solyova of Ukraine in Beijing. She's five kilometers behind on both those occasions. It was a world record lift at the end of it all. That's three out of three. Cliche, and she goes into the lead. Very strong lift. 92 kg, very impressive. Well, how long will she hold the lead? May only be for a, a minute, basically. Because coming up now is the Olympic champion of the old 40 kg category for Turkey, Nazmiya Muslu. And she's really going for it right from the start. She's the world record holder with 100 kg. And that's what she's aiming for. With the very first lift here. setting the bar high at the old weight category of uh, 40 kg set a world record of 109 kilograms at London 2012 she holds the world record in this new category of 241 kg and this Okay. to start off with an extra piece of history. And she has. She has matched her own world record of 100 kg, and that's just for starters. Muslu equals her world record. Her first lift of the day. Did it look like it took much out of her? I don't think so. So she has a lead of 8 kg already over Kuje, the silver medalist in London. And 
Muslu start while well, she's looking like she's trying to knock Kuje down into the silver medal again here. In terms of the opening lift stand, 100 kg for Nazmia Muslu of Turkey. Joint world record. She's into the lead. Currently in the silver medal position, Kuje of China with 92 kg. And currently in third, Ninenga Muriasi of Indonesia with a lift of 90. Second round then. Julia Borensova of Russia lifted 65 first time. She's aiming for a lift of 69. Three white lights. Well, that'll make her happy anyway. She's currently lying in sixth place. As I said, we have a DNS against uh, Abuzo of Cameroon. No joy for three others in the opening round. Result of Abuzua not making it here, it does mean that Yulia Foransova is the only junior in the field. Sakina Katun is next. Now she missed out in the opening round with a, an attempt of 74 kg, and that's what she's going for again in the second round. That, by the way, was a junior world record by Vorinsova, beating her old mark by one kilogram. So well done there. So Sakina Katun of Indonesia. attempt which went awry. Let's see if India's she Pong can get it this time, the second attempt. I'm afraid. So at the moment it looks as if she's putting everything into her third and final lift. Two claps, I guess the coach knew immediately. Nora Bador will be next. Cleared 80 kg with her first round lift. Well, that was the first target, considering the uh, disappointment, really, for her in the last two major global championships. Well, looky 
looking to overtake Marina Kapika of Ukraine to get up into fourth place. This would bring her within five kg of the medals, which if she gets this, she would obviously aim for in the final round. So Pador got 80 last time out. Got up. 85 this time. Got up. To get close to the medals. Up. Well, she got the bar up. Did the judges like it? Yes, they did. Two of them did. That's enough. Up into fourth place. And into medal contention potentially. She need to up it by about six kg to definitively get in. Marina Kapika will be next, but it was uh, a solid effort by Bador to get it raised. Matches the mark that she set in Kuala Lumpur last November. Canal of Ukraine. Could be a real joust between her and Nora Bador ultimately for the medals and potentially for fourth. Kapika going for 86 here. Finished seventh in London. Now three red lights here. So no joy for her. She's been overtaken by Nora Bador. Interesting tales that come up on our screens here. Kapika went for 86 in the second round, so because she's missed out, she'll go for 86 again in the third. Nora Bador, for her third round attempt, was going to go for 86. Then saw Kapika was going for it here and has moved up in a final round attempt for 87. Might not need to now. Kapika remains on 82. Now Al Ramadan is up next. Missed out in 87, first time around. He's going for it again here is the Egyptian. extra weight for the bar to be leveled, placed on its hoist. Well, if Ramadan were to get this, she'd go up into fourth place for the moment.
and able to confirm three kilograms of the medals. She gets this big platform to go further. Better attempt. It was through by Light Swaridan goes into fourth place. And at the second attempt gets 87. Well that puts her in a very good position. to the medals now. Currently lying in third place, Ninenga Wudiashi. Lifted 90 kg in the opening round, going for three more this time at 93. Second highest lift of the year, and the highest of those competing. in terms of being a medalist for now but it does move her up into second place ahead of Kije of China goes a kilogram clear of the double Paralympic silver medalist now Ebra Chukwutazi of Nigeria, who missed out in the opening round in 85, and is really going for it here. Aiming for 95 kg, which will put her into second place. She remains without a mark at the moment. 
she'll elect to go for 95 again in the next round, but that could change if the medal positions change. Didn't really have the bar straight when it was going up. Kijay is aiming for second again. Second attempted lift will be for 96. Former badminton player, para badminton, moved into power lifting very successfully indeed. Silver is in Beijing and in London. But what about Dubai then? second place again certainly shuffles things around in terms of the overall standings Kije is back up into second place Ninenga Wiriashi of Indonesia is set back down to third again and getting the bar raised but now you want confidence you've got it Nazmir Muslu equal to her own world record in the first round and this is an attempt to break it and extend her lead even further she leads by a 4 kg at the moment and nobody is attempting to beat her in the third round so the gold medal is hers There's a late change of mind from Kije or Ninenga Uriashi. Muslu doesn't get this, but if she does, it's a new world record. She'll extend her lead to 7 kg. That would be surely another major title for her. So let's see. Aiming for 103. Aiming for a new world record. And she has it. Second world record of the day for Nazmir Muslu of Turkey. And I think that should be the goal too. Well, she's being roundly congratulated and rightly so. That was a great feat by Nazmir Muslu. Pure strength. And a sensational lift that she was delighted with and the coach also. And that should be gold again. record also at junior which was set in the previous round by Yulia Voronsova of Russia 69 kg she's looking for an increase of that to 74 let's see if she can do it Actually, haven't broken her own 
Уля, напряги руки, напряги. Иди с ним, команду сделай. But she does have a new junior world record today of 69 kg. That will keep her in seventh place for now. Still possible she could be displaced by two spots. Has been the lift of her life today in Dubai. Final attempt coming for Sakina Katun of India. Her third and final attempt at 74 kg. Having missed the previous two. to go into seventh. Hasn't been able to keep it straight in the two previous rounds. Now that was up a lot swifter this time. But she did not please the judges. Two reds out of three. That means she does not register a mark. It's good news for Veronsova though, who can finish no lower than eighth now. Nobody is, by the way, in this final round looking for a greater weight than Nazmia Muslu, which means the gold medal is hers. World record as well, and presumably will try something greater in the third round if she elects to lift in this third round. Waiting in the wings, Nora Vador of Syria. Two out of two so far, 80 kg and 85. The last attempt will be for 87. In terms of body weight, this, if she were to get it, would put her back into fourth place. She's a lighter athlete than Nawal Ramadan. Can she peak with a top four finish? Going to, to keep that straight. Ah. Easy does it. Three red lights, I fear, though. So she finishes with her best mark in the second round of 85. And she will be no higher than fifth 
and it may be six. certainly did. She is at the moment above Marina Kapika of Ukraine. Kapika now trying to take fourth spot. She's attempting 88 kg, having got 82 earlier. Missed out the second round in 86. Two red lights though, one white, so it means 82 kg is her best and she will be at best sixth. Having finished seventh at London 2012 and it may still be seventh for her here. Anyways, the chief battle here is for fourth place. And Kapika's had a strong attempt to try and get there. And despite all the urging, just couldn't get the lift cleanly straight. Battle for fourth continues. Now, while Ramadan of Egypt is going for a, a major boost to her tally here, she's going 6 kg heavier than she got in the second round, which was 87. She's going for 93 here. Originally was going for 91. Now this would get her into the medals. Ramadan is currently lying in fourth place thanks to a lift of 87. In terms of body weight, slightly lighter than Ninenga and Iyashi, who still has to go in this final round. This would put Ramadan up into third, an attempt of 93. gone for 91 perhaps giving up in a chance of the medals but having seen what had happened elsewhere she actually felt she has an opportunity of getting into the medals here was 2 kg it was certainly worth a go worth a tilt at a medal if she had simply stuck to the mark of 91 and got it she might never have forgiven herself because in terms of the weight comparisons between herself and Inenga Udiasi 
certainly worth attempting the extra two. Well, that, of course, could have been academic. And Tassi of Nigeria cleared 95 in the second round, but she didn't. So that's what has made the bronze medal an open prospect. Tassi being only a matter of a couple of hundred grams more than Kije in terms of body weight. She'd gone for 96 here and matched her. She wouldn't have overtaken Kije. So she's aiming for the bronze here. And 95 kg. Missed out last time. Missed out in the first round at 85. And that didn't look the straightest. Three red lights. So she ends up without a mark in a competition in which she could have ended in the medals. It's unfortunate for her, but that was the calculation that was made. Now, from none of the three angles that the judges are at, did they like what they saw? So she's in three attempts, 85, 95, 95, and a red mark against each. So she and Sakina Katun of India finish without a mark. So our three current medalists are the last three to go, and the medals are theirs. PJ is going for 97 kg. Now she's currently on 96. Inenga Udiashi, who's in third, one place behind her, goes next and is aiming for this same mark for now Kije had originally for a final lift been going for 98 but 97 would keep her in silver provided Ninenga Widiasi does not attempt 98 Kije to defend silver that final round attempt of 97 and she's got it <laughs> two silvers of the last two Paralympic Games and as it stands silver here there's only one woman who can prevent her from finishing second again perfectly straight on the horizontal to buckle a bit at the end but she had done enough for it so now Ninenga Wudiasi was originally going to go for 97 and Kize was originally going to go for 98 Kize went for 97 Wudiasi is now going for 98 and it would get her the silver if successful. Kize of China cleared 97. Widiashi has cleared 90 and 93 qualified in November in Kuala Lumpur, lifting 95. She finished fifth in London. There will be a medal here. Currently in the bronze medal position. This is for silver. And this will need to be the effort of her life. Here. 
Da Silva can she? Fair enough. Well, again, she would feel she had to give it a go. 98 was beyond her. That should be a red mark against. Couldn't lift it all the way. So it means bronze for Widiasi in the end. Her best attempt was the 93 in the second round. That was knocking on personal best territory for Widiasi there with the 98. She couldn't get a raise, and that was that. Muslu got the world record in the second round. She's passed up her third round attempt. She has the gold medal and the world record here and doesn't need to do any more. to her name. She could go for another Yulia Borensova. She matched her junior world record in the second round with 69 kg. Missed out last time at 74 and obviously felt she came sufficiently close enough to go for another. Went into this with the world record of 68 kg, better than by one in the second round. Missed out by 64 kg in round three. I think it's the same again here. Couldn't get a lift in. isn't over yet. Kije has elected to go for a fourth lift for a world record lift to get into gold medal position and to get the world record. Something worth doing in a world championship. So it's silver for Kije again, her third major championship silver. It is gold for Nazmiya Muslu of Turkey, which is fully confirmed now 
It was just a weight too much for her this time, and you could see the strain. She knew it wasn't going to get any further. And that was the end of that for her. That was the end of the competition. It was a real major tilted gold for her, and, well, halted by the coach, who felt that was not going to go any further. So Muslu takes gold for Turkey, silver for Kije of China, and bronze for Indonesia, for Ninenga Uriasi. Boronsova of Russia gets a new junior world record, finishing in seventh place. She was ultimately the only junior in the competition. So the first women's gold of the week. A new world record, 103 kg for Nazmia Muslu of Turkey, Kije of China second, Widiashi of Indonesia third, 6 kg in the end, ahead of Nawal Ramadan of Egypt, who tried that same mark of 93. That would have given her the bronze instead, but no success for her that time. But finished fourth, which was a good result for her. So that's the 1-2-3 in Dubai. And the medal ceremony is on the way. <laughs> medal ceremony coming up if you're with us here in Dubai. And you fancy coming along tomorrow. 10 a.m. local time is the men's 54 kg event. Runs for two hours. Medal ceremony after each event. The women's 45 kg, the next weight up from what we've just seen. That's underway at 1.45 p.m., 13.45. And then the men's 59 kg to round off the afternoon's action. That's at 4.15 p.m., 16.15 here in Dubai. We're expecting that to run for about two and a half hours. So there's around seven hours prime power lifting tomorrow here at the Dubai Club of the Disabled near the police headquarters, close to the airport, right alongside the Al Akli football stadium. Sakina Katun had three attempts at 74 kg. Was unable to get through, but it was success for Sirius Nora Bador as she got 85 kg up in second attempt. Been cleared 80 in the opening round. And that makes a big difference to her compared to the previous two major global championships. That saw Bador finished fifth for Ukraine in sixth, Marina Kopika. 82 with the opening round attempt. But could lift clearly, no higher. Ebra Chukwutasi of Nigeria was in contention for medals without a doubt, but missed out at 85 in the first round. And then two subsequent attempts at 95, which would have got her into the medals. The crowd supporting her were happy, but ultimately she wasn't because the judges weren't. So she ended up like Sakina Katun, not registering a mark. Nawal Ramadan of Egypt had missed out at 87 kg in the first round, but cleared it at the second. That saw her finish in fourth place. Then we got into the sharp end. Ninenga Uriasi of Indonesia cleared 90 in the first round, 93 with her second attempt. Went for a medal, went for silver with her third lift at 98. Didn't get it. Bronze for her and for Indonesia. Kije of China had lifted 92 kg in the first round, lifted 96, and then 97 in rounds two and three. That left her at 6 kg away from gold. She went for it in the final round, but didn't get it. Nazmia Muslu wins gold for Turkey. Only two lifts needed, both world records. 100 in the first round to match her world record set last May in Alexin in Russia. Then 103 
in the second round. New world record for her. And that, the gold. Not the only world record of the day. Yulia Voronsova of Russia with a second round lift of 69 kg. Beat her junior world record. Also set to that meeting at Alexin last May. Katun would return for a final round. Didn't get it at 74. Lifted it, but not straight. Laura Bador, her final round lift, having achieved 80 and 85 earlier in the competition. No clean success at 87. So 85 her best, and she finishes fifth. Marina Kavika would return for one final attempt at 88. That would have got her fourth. The judge is not satisfied, gave that a red mark. So 82 her best, she finishes in sixth place. Now Al Ramadan then of Egypt, having cleared 87 at the second attempt, was going for 93, and that would have got her a bronze medal, having tied on Weight with Ninenga Udiesha, but would have gained it on body weight. She is a might lighter, but no success. So Ramadan would finish down in fourth place. Returning for an attempt at silver, Ninenga Udiasi of Indonesia went for dramatic 98 at the end, but wasn't given it. Couldn't get her raised. Straight enough for the judges. Nazmia Muslu with the world record of 103. Great success, a real puff out due to a physical strain and a bit of relief as well that she got the world record mark. Didn't need to lift again, even though we did go into a fourth round. She had it won and clinched by round two. Rina Kapika back for her third round lift. the one two three coming out and we'll be seeing the one two three in terms of the medalists very shortly
Attention to all technical officials. Attention to all technical officials. There will be a short meeting right after the ceremony ends. Thank you. Attention to all technical officials. There will be a short meeting after the ceremony ends. So please stay back. Thank you. IPC Powerlifting World Championships. It's a strong competition. In the end, there was a major battle for the various medals that maybe would have been difficult to predict in advance. But first of all, a junior gold and a junior world record for Yulia Moronsova of Russia who cleared 69 kg, upping her world record by 1 kg. Junior gold medal for Russia. Junior world record. And obviously, by definition, junior European record and junior Russian record too. The fact that she's come here and set a new junior world record meant that that was the main competition that she was aiming for today. So out one door and everybody's gonna come back through the other one because we're gonna have the senior medal ceremony now. the events so far today we've seen world record and world junior record set in both the men's and women's the men's 49 kg earlier the new world record set by Yakubu Adesokan of Nigeria 
Broke his own world record twice today, as did Lee Van Kong of Vietnam, but Yakubu in the end finishing with gold and Lee with the silver, with Vladimir Balinets of Russia taking the bronze. Junior event, what a monstrous lift by the 15-year-old Mozan Bakhtiar of Iran as he took junior gold with a new junior world record. Semen Kubitsky of Russia with the silver and Omer Farouk Gunu of Turkey the bronze victory ceremony for senior woman 41 kilos please welcome so the now the overall medal ceremony at 41 kg Excellent competition. It was a major battle for fourth, which then spilled over into a battle for bronze, then spilled over into a battle for silver and ultimately gold. Udiasi of Indonesia won bronze, made a major play to win silver. Lifted 93 in the second round. Went for silver with a final lift of 98, but missed out there. So it's bronze for Udiasi. of China who again successful all the way through her three regular lifts then went for the world record 103.5 with a fourth and final final attempt couldn't get the bar raised so silver for her third major championship silver medals being presented by the head of IPC powerlifting John Amos gold again for Nazmi Abuslo of Turkey champion for the second time, Paralympic Games champion at London 2012. Great triumph. Only needed two lifts. Equaled a world record with the first. Gives the toy away. Keeps the world record, keeps the gold. I think she's got the better half of that deal. Gold for Turkey for Nazmi and Muslu, silver for Kinshe of China, and bronze for Indonesia. Ninenga Udiasi. Great competition. A lot of fun. Opening ceremony is tonight, not live. Santa Burk Khalifa. We are back tomorrow, 10 a.m. local Dubai time. 0600 GMT for the men's 54 kg event followed by the women's 45 kg 
and the men's 59 kg to round off the day. Lots of fun it's been in Dubai, the opening day of these 2014 IPC Powerlifting World Championships. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back again tomorrow. Bye bye. Thank you, presenter, and thank you to our audience for your presence. We now conclude today's session of the 2014 IPC Powerlifting World Championships. We invite you to join us again tomorrow at 10 o'clock for the men 54 kilos, female 45 kilos, and men 59 kilos.